Hi, this is Ariel from Copilot Kit. In this tutorial, we're going to take a simple lightweight email client and supercharge it with an AI powered text area using Copilot Kit. By the end of the tutorial, you will know how to integrate Copilot Kit into any application. You will implement the Copilot text area component, which is a drop in replacement for any text area, giving it powerful auto completions that are aware of your application state in real time. And finally, you'll learn how to use the Copilot text area action menu to perform useful actions such as generating text or adjusting existing text. The code for this tutorial is available on GitHub and you can find all the details down below. Let's get started. So first I'm going to check out this repo. Feel free to stop the video if you have not done that yet. Now let's not forget to install the dependencies by running npm install. And let's start the project with npm run dev. And this is just a standard Next.js app router project. Let's open up the browser and see what happens. So let's see what we have here. This is a simple app that simulates an email thread. We can see the email history and we're also able to write a response to this thread. Hello. And if we hit reply, the response is added to the thread. In terms of code, in page.tsx, that's the home page of our app. We have this emails provider component within the use emails file. This file uh, exports a provider that basically contains the state of our emails and all of the functions used to interact with the state, like sending a new email, which essentially adds that new email message to the emails history. We also have the use emails hook here that is used in some of our components. For example, the email thread component responsible for rendering our emails right here. You can see that we import the use uh, emails hook and use it here to read the state and reply.tsx, which is this component right here, responsible for handling the whole reply mechanism for our email with the input and the reply button. Right here, we use the hook as well to send the email once the user hits reply. So pretty simple and quite normal for a React app. Now let's add our copilot to the app. First, we need to install a few dependencies. So we're going to npm install at copilot kit slash react core. And this package contains the core functionality of copilot kit. And we also want to install at copilot kit slash react dash text area. And this package contains the copilot kit text area and its dependencies. All right, now we have the dependencies installed. Let's run the app again and head over to our code. Now let's go to the page.tsx file, our home page. And here we're going to import the Copilot Kit provider and wrap our app with it. So import Copilot Kit from at Copilot Kit slash React Core. And simply wrap the app like this. There you go. Now, Copilot Kit has a component named Copilot Runtime, which is the server side component of Copilot Kit. And it allows your app to communicate with LLMs, maintain message history, and a bunch of other useful features. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Copilot Cloud, and this way I won't have to host my own runtime. If for some reason you still prefer to host your own runtime, head over to our documentation and click on self-hosting. And here you can see the exact steps you need to take to host your own Copilot runtime endpoint for whatever framework you choose. I highly recommend that you use Copilot Cloud for this tutorial. It's free to get started and it's the easiest way to implement Copilot Cloud quickly. Simply click here, get your Copilot Cloud public API key, and then you can continue with the tutorial. I've already obtained my Copilot Cloud API key, so I'm simply gonna go back here and say public API key, equals, and then my API key. Now, in principle, we have Copilot Kit connected to our application. Now it's time to actually get some visual feedback and implement some features. So let's proceed with adding the AI powered text area. I'm going to head over to the reply.tsx file here, and I'm going to simply import the Copilot text area component from at Copilot Kit slash react text area. One of the coolest aspects of Copilot text area is that it really is a drop-in replacement for any existing text area you have in your code, just that it gives it some AI superpowers. So I'm going to replace my current text area with the Copilot text area, and let's quickly go through the props here. 
class name. I'm using Tailwind here to just unify the styles with the rest of the application. As for value and on change, pretty standard. That's our way to set the current value of the text area and change it on change, just here. I've also defined a placeholder, write to reply. And this is the interesting part, auto suggestions config. You use this property to tell Copilot Kit about the purpose of this text area and some other configurations. In this case, the text area purpose is to assist me in replying to this email thread. Remember all important details. And of course, you can type whatever you want here for your specific use case. If you want to learn more about the auto suggestions config or any other aspect of the Copilot text area, I highly recommend checking out our documentation, components, and then Copilot text area. Now let's continue. I'm going to save this file and then head back to my application. And what we see here is a text area that looks pretty much similar to the one we've had before. But let's type something in here. Hey, thanks for re... And now you can see that I'm getting auto-completed. Hey, thanks for reaching out. So it was a drop-in replacement and now we have an AI copilot in our text area. This is pretty cool, but let's make it even better. It would be much more useful if our text area and our auto completions can take the application state into account, more specifically our message history. To achieve this, we're going to use the use copilot readable hook. Let's head over to useemails.tsx. And this is our provider where we store the state about the emails. All we need to do to allow our copilot to know the email history is to simply import the use copilot readable hook and then call it right here, use copilot readable. And here we need to provide two things. One is the description and the other is the value. For description, I'm going to say the full history of this email thread. And for value, I'm simply going to pass the emails themselves. You can pass anything you want for any of those. Let's save our file and then go back to the application. And now if we say, thanks, Jay, you can see that it auto-completes to John. So it knows that we're messaging with John Doe. John, I appreciate your prompt response. And let's say here, for example, we talked about a company called Space Y. So let's say, thanks for the update um, about your conversation with Space Y. And you can see that our Copilot is fully aware of everything that we discussed previously. So this is pretty cool. And again, you can add anything you want to use Copilot Readable from all over your application to make your auto completions even smarter. Now, let me show you another cool aspect of the Copilot text area. It's called the action menu. While focusing on the text area, you can use the Command K shortcut or Control K if you're on Windows to open up the action menu. As you can see, we have some styling issue here that we can easily fix by heading over to page.tsx and simply importing at copilot kit slash react text area slash styles.css. And we're going to do that at the root of our application. And now we can see that it's all styled correctly. So the action menu, you can use it to do really two things. One is to insert text, so generate any text you'd like. For example, we can say, thank John for the update. And there you go. It's a little bit short, so we can say, make it longer. Thanks, John, I appreciate the update. And we can even select a particular part of our text area and then use Command K or Control K and say, make this more formal and also mention the client name. I appreciate you keeping me informed about our progress with SpaceWise. So again, fully aware of the entire application state and you can make any iterations or changes as you like. Folks, this is it for the Copilot text area tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about Copilot Kit, I highly suggest taking our other tutorials if you have not done that yet. There are so many useful components for you to explore. If you struggled and need some help, please let us know by reporting an issue on GitHub, or you can also come over to our Discord and get some support, or really just come by and say hi. Once again, thanks for taking the tutorial, and I'll see you next time.